the highlands of Ethiopia, the end of the rainy season. There's a good flow of water in rivers and streams and the levels are high. This is the main source of water for rural people in the surrounding area. They come from miles around, knowing there's a plentiful supply. Over 600 households, thousands of people, rely on this stretch of river for almost everything they do. About 75% of the entire population in the rural setting do not have potable water. So that people should have to access their potable water from unprotected springs, unprotected rivers, river water, where both animals and human beings get using from the same spot. Uh, this is the potential sources of waterborne disease. The danger of contamination isn't just from animals. People using this water don't know what's happening upstream. Human waste, pesticides, fertilizers or other pollutants could all be getting into the river. But people here don't have a choice. Besides, river water is plentiful and free. The availability is crucial for people. People don't mind for the quality as long as they get water. Water quality from unprotected sources varies through the seasons. For example, when it rains heavily, it gets churned up and muddy. Women and children from villages all around walk miles to fetch water here. But this much-used river is only 13 kilometers from the city of Baheda, which has a clean piped water supply. People in most cases don't know about the right so that they don't claim it. I mean, getting water is a right. It's not somebody, somebody's gesture just are going to be thrown down to people. It is their right to get because they pay tax, because they, they, really, they really contribute something to this country. So that they should be also considered as equal citizens like others.